Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Rua, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a cute little French tip nail design, I guess, but with colored poly gel. So I just, I don't know, I hated the purple color. If you've ever watched my other videos, you know I've had issues with this dark purple color. It's just like. I don't know, I was vibing with it. Every nail video I did after the first time I used it, or every time I used it after that first video, it just didn't turn out right. She was not working. So basically, I um, decided to mix the poly gel. I don't know why I never really filmed this. The first, like, what was that, the third poly gel that I did? Like, back before I started filming nail videos, I used to mix my poly gel, but it wasn't like... It wasn't like colored poly gel because I didn't have colored poly, poly gel. I would mix like different nude poly gels to get a like good nude poly gel. Wow, that was a lot of words. Again, I'm always doing my voiceovers at like 3 a.m. But yeah, I mixed it to get a really cute pastel color. Hon honestly, this video is super self-explanatory. You, It's like I've done this on my channel before, I think. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not. Anyway, yeah, I just placed the pink on my nail bed first i make a little smile line i guess i guess i guess for my nail shape you can use any color honestly this pink color this new color turned out to be way more pink than i expected i thought it would look really wonky on my skin tone but once i added the purple it just looked like i used i purposely used colorful poly gel to make the design which works out perfectly and so you basically just smooth it out make your little your little shape and then cure it i flash cure after every single nail because i just have i'm clumsy i have an issue with like keeping my hands still especially when i'm doing each fingernail individually so i make sure to flash cure for t like 10 to 20 seconds and then i continue
All right, now with adding the purple poly gel, all you have to do is like scoop it up. It looks messy, but once you like smooth it down with your slip solution, it will like form, I don't know, it will come to shape, if that makes any sense, on the nail. And I always try to like flip my hand upside down to let gravity do its thing. You can either hold your hand down downwards with your fingers pointing downwards, or you can hold your hand upside down, and it kind of helps the poly gel level. And I think that um, using basic as a slip solution is really helpful because it kind of almost thins out the poly gel. Not thins, but like it kind of moves it out because they're made of the same um, components. They're made of similar components, so it helps level it out a lot. I try my best to like make the purple and pink parts equal, but if I don't, obviously you can always file after. It's not that hard. Um, yeah, this is a really simple design. Um, I did try to use those new, like, almost hollow butterfly stickers, butterfly decals. I finally learned how to use decals. I tried to use them in my other video, but I literally scrapped the whole idea because I was just, I didn't even research. I don't even remember. I just didn't do it. But yeah, basically, I just take off any excess on the nail that I see. I try to even it out as much as possible. I just try my best to make everything kind of symmetrical and even that's what you'll see me do and i do flash cure again after every single nail honestly this nail design didn't take me that long i think filing would have taken the most time to do so yeah all you need is two colors it's super easy and simple
so basically i filed twice i filed before like right now as i'm doing in the clip and then i like before i put on any um builder gel and then i file after builder gel now the reason i use builder gel is because i say this on a lot of videos but i use a base coat a peel off base coat on my nails so i can do nails frequently so if i file too much it does make the nails pop off or sometimes they literally snap in half can you imagine spending minutes almost hours on nails and they just break when you're filing them they don't break because they're weak they break because like the um what's it called the the, the peel off base coat like literally just like shifts them up because they never actually adhere to the actual nail bed so what i do is i try to file a little bit it looks aggressive in a video but it's sped up i try to file like lightly first and then like add a layer of builder gel to make it more even and then i do some like kind of finishing filing after the what is it called i do it after the builder gel just to make sure everything is even and that helps with like having a good shape like in some of my videos like i look back now and the shape like they're not the nails aren't level because i like just didn't I don't know i didn't file properly or i was too scared that the nails were gonna snap i wish i could like do nails frequently without having damaged nails even with the peel off base coat i'm gonna tell you right now sometimes the peel off base coat does not like come off evenly or it does some weird thing to my nail bed that makes it really dry and crackly so like i really have to be careful with like how frequently i do my nails like i really want to push out videos but at the same time like i don't want to sabotage my nails completely but yeah i really love these nails even without the um butterflies in gems as you'll see later they're super elegant they're super cute i say that about everything but like they are cute you can use any color that you want i just i i don't know why i've never mixed poly gels now that like i'm i mean like colored poly gels i've done nudes before but now that like i'm i've done it with my purple like i'm gonna see if i have any other colors that i can mix and then i was like try to film a video for you guys but yeah that's pretty much all i do um yeah So this is me basically cutting up the butterfly poly gels poly gels oh my gosh butterfly decals and putting them in some water to soak up honestly i don't remember how long i did it but i feel like the rule of thumb is like 30 seconds 30 seconds to 40 seconds and then i use my top coat to adhere them and then no i use my what's it called tweezers or something to put them on it was really hard because they were sticking to my hand but then i use my top coat 
to seal everything and then I add my rhinestones and that's pretty much it for the video I hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what video ideas you want me to film and I'll see you in my next one bye Good.